Casa! You will bring Commissioner Kingston and his party to Coronation? They should be waiting at camp for me now. We meet again tomorrow for ceremony on Hill of Chiefs. I shall be happy to greet your father, who is to be crowned chief. Goodbye, Prince Uwaba. We're in a hurry. Tell your friend you'll see her later. Monkey business, Tambo. Thanks for coming when you did. You probably saved our lives. I nearly broke my neck doing it. It's better than having Zulu cut it. I feel better already. Quite a psychologist, aren't you? The lady never turned your back on a hungry lion or a Moro native. Zulu is chief of the Moros. Offhand, I'd say they make Geronimo and his Apaches look like Boy Scouts on a picnic. Our camp is down the trail with Commissioner Kingston's party. We were waiting for a fellow called Jungle Jim. I'm Jungle Jim. Oh. Well, this is Dr. Barney Crandall. I'm Jeffrey Bernard. 
We were out for a walk and we ran into these natives who were preparing to attack the camp. They went for us instead. They won't do anything now without Zulu. What do we do about him? I have some suggestions, but they're neither ladylike nor befitting a member of the medical profession. <laughs> we'll take him back to camp. Give me a hand. I didn't notice that swelling in your face when you brought Zulu in. Are you in pain? Maybe I'd better operate. Operation completed. Thanks. Thank you. Go on, Monsieur Laro. No, it is a simple matter, really, Commissioner Kingston. No, thank you. For example, the salt desires to sell something. Eh? The three pieces of sugar wish to buy. Voila. The price will be high, since the three buyers will outbid each other for what they want. But we now have two who wish to sell, and only one to buy. The simple law of supply and demand the price now comes down. For this very reason, we have an international diamond syndicate. Diamonds are valuable not only because they are beautiful, <laughs> but because they are rare. Governments may rise and fall. The value of a dollar, or a franc, or a pound may increase or decrease. But a man who owns a diamond has something of constant value in New York, London, Paris, anywhere in the world. So long as the syndicate controls the flow of the diamonds into the markets of the world. Exactly. But let somebody suddenly flood the markets with the diamonds, and uh, <laughs> the diamonds would be worth no more than uh, this grain of salt. Huh? Of course, whoever did such a thing would make a fortune for himself, at the expense of anybody who had ever invested in the purchase of a diamond. Monsieur Laro is a member of the diamond syndicate. He and Inspector Bernard of Scotland Yard need your help, Jim. Well, diamonds are a little out of my line. <laughs> but not the jungle, my friend. That you know well, huh? We know that a new diamond field has been discovered somewhere here in the jungle. And we are afraid that the diamonds from this new field are to be smuggled out to flood the markets of the world. Why do you think that? Well, this much we do know. Three men discovered a diamond field here in the jungle. One of them stayed to work it. The other two went to Paris to close a deal with the head of the syndicate. They met with Mr. Leroux. Well, of course, I told them we were interested. I sent them to London to my superior in the syndicate, Lord Barton. They got to London all right, but not to Lord Barton. Both men were murdered. Their papers, maps, everything stolen. Whoever killed those two men must be here in the jungle, looking for the third partner. And when he finds him, there'll be a third murder, a stolen diamond field, and a flooded world market that will make diamonds worth no more than pieces of cut glass. But you should understand, gentlemen, 
that the government is reluctant to call upon Jim's assistance unless there's a definite threat to the natives' well-being or to the peace of the jungle. Does that mean you won't help us? Don't forget the ladies, Jim. Make diamonds worthless, and a lot of girls have lost their best friend. <laughs> I came here for the crowning of a chief. After that, his son and I go hunting. Anyway, you don't need me. But why not, monsieur? The minute this murderer started working the diamond field, every native and government man in the jungle would know about it overnight. How? The jungle grapevine. You can't hide a diamond mine unless you don't work it. The coast is pretty well guarded. You'll get your man and your diamond mine. This is a picture of the missing third partner. You might at least keep your eyes open for him. If I see him, I'll let you both know. Oh, just the inspector, monsieur. We go separate ways after the coronation ceremonies tomorrow. The syndicate has some holdings here. I must inspect them. And now, bonne nuit, good people. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Good night. A coming, inspector? Right away, sir. Good night, everybody. Good night, Inspector. Mm. Jim. Jim, after the ceremony is tomorrow, will you take Dr. Crandall to examine Boganda's daughter-in-law, Nagala? Of course, Commissioner. Anything to help Dr. Crandall. If you really mean that, you can tell that chimp of yours to get lost and stay lost. Tamba likes you, too. A good doctor with much to learn about the jungle. She's got plenty of spirit. She'll make out. Where's Zulu? He's tied up in one of the tents. He's under close guard. He's safe enough, but... But I'm worried about the Moros, Jim. They've been restless and unhappy ever since we built the dam and dried up the river. It's not your fault if they turned down your offer to move them to a new area. They must have their own good reasons. Good night. Good night, Jim. No sign of Zulu. Did you find anything in here? There's no telling who cut him loose. Well, I, I guess we better get the Boganda ceremony underway. <laughs> Tamba, come down here. Come down here. All right, I'll go without you. All day long, we have joined in feasting and celebration. Now I have been ordered by Her Gracious Majesty the Queen to recognize the many years of wise leadership and distinguished service of Boganda, bringer of peace to the jungle. Will Boganda rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me as High Commissioner and in the name of Her Majesty, I now proclaim for you and your heirs forever the title of Chief of Kambeziland. 
Greetings, Chief Boganda. My thanks, Commissioner, and to the Queen. May this be the beginning of peace and plenty for both our people. Examined wife of my son? Yes, I have. She will be all right? Not right away, Zuaba. Nagala isn't very strong. I recommend you send her to the government hospital on the coast to have a baby. That way, I'm sure she'll be all right. If Nagala have man child, he's someday chief of Kambisi land. Nagala, wife of Prince, must have baby with tribe in jungle. But you don't understand. Her condition is serious. She might die. Young friend, Come busy, women have children for many hundred years before first doctor come to jungle. If we need help, we send for lady doctor. I'm ready to go now. I'll be right back. Let's go, doc. Take much time going, but return with speed. You know, when this child is born, it will be a symbol of authority, a strongly superstitious rallying point, and a, a source of pride for the entire Kumbizi tribe. We may not like it, but Fogander and his son were right about keeping Nagala in the jungle. Well, I did my best. Oh, I'm sure you did, Doctor. Jim, how long are you going to be gone on your hunting trip? Well, it's hard to say. We're going after lion, you know. <laughs> Maybe a week or ten days. Where's Mr. LaRoe? I'd like to say goodbye to him. Well, he left about an hour ago on that, uh, on that expedition for the mining company. Well, I guess we'd better be on our way, too. Good hunting, Jim. Thanks. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Keep your eyes open for that missing third partner, Jim. I'll do that, Inspector. Goodbye, Dr. Crandall. Goodbye. And don't forget your simian sidekick. Don't worry, Doc. Tamba comes with me. Tamba! Tamba! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> After the bell dam, Zulu hate government. Hate Kambizi tribe. I kill commissioner for you. No, mon ami. No, no. I did not catch you free last night for that. There is a fortune in diamonds in the jungle, just waiting for us to pick up. Zulu, help Loro for share of diamonds. <laughs> what would you do with diamonds? Zulu know where to trade diamonds for gold and many wives. Unfortunately, monsieur, three things stand in our way. Oh, I can get the gems out of the jungle, all right. But they must first be mine. This will take natives that can keep their mouths closed. Zulu, chief of Moros, they do what Zulu say. Where is Diamond Field? Unfortunately, it is in Kambezi land, where the natives would be sure to stumble onto our operation. Zulu, we must drive them across the river, away from mining field. Tribe strong, many warriors. Too many for Moros to attack. If we burn their village and took their royal family as hostages, monsieur, we would have no worries from them, huh? You speak of three things. So I did. Do you know this man? You know where to find him? So we'll take you. Now, we go at once, huh? Come on! No sign of lion yet. 
I don't like it, using a bull as bait to catch a live lion. Well, my people do it for a long time. Everything be all right, you'll see. Lions are bad medicine. Oh, Jim, you worry too much. I'd rather worry now than be sorry later. Uh. Lion come. Only four. You fight lion. We better get back to the river in the Kambizi village. Break camp. Ngawa. Come, monsieur, we have work to do. here and find our boat.
He's still alive. Jim, know this man? Yeah. I gotta get this man to a government hospital right away. There's some boats down below. Have your men put him in one of them. This is the bullet that did it. Was that fired from a French revolver? Copper jacket, traces of black powder. About an eight. I think you're right, Jim. It's an eight millimeter label. It is fired from the standard French revolver. Jim, do you know who killed this man? I don't know, just a hunch. I think it's Mr. LaRoe. LaRoe? Of course. He was the only one who saw those two men in Paris. He sent them over to London where they were killed. And as a member of the Diamond Syndicate, he was in a perfect spot to unload illicit diamonds, if they could be smuggled he out. He showed up here in the jungle with some phony story about an inspection trip. He went off by himself. And the missing third partner was killed. It all fits, Jim. Yes? An emergency message, Commissioner, from Cambese. Oh, what is it? Zula and some of his natives have started a fire on the outskirts of Cambese village. It's out of control. Burning up the town. Now you know why LaRoe cut Zulu loose. Well, this is serious, Jim. It'll take days to move troops out of Cambese land. We have an old plane here. Inspector Bernard can fly it. You better go along too, Dr. Crandall. You may be needed, especially for Nagala. Yes, sir. I'll get my things. I'll need a chart. Yes, sir. Come with me. Commissioner, mm -hmm. the burning of the village must be for a reason. Do you have survey maps for the new dam? But I don't see what the Cambese Dam has to do with the fire. Well, the maps and the fire together might give us a clue to the location of the diamond field. Of course. Then you'll help Inspector Bernard. Helping him and the natives are the same thing. I'm ready. Good. Let's get to that plane before half the jungle burns down. Cambese have only one way out, across the river. Oh,
take them away. We'll meet on the hill trail before they start for the coast. We'll make sure all the Cambesia are safely headed across the river before we leave the area. That engine out of commission. Bury these spark plugs. Right. I'll meet you and Dr. Crandall in the village. Come on, Campbell. Let's go. <laughs> Chief Boganda. Zulu burn village. Kill Chief Boganda. Suwaba, so Nagala? Oros, take them away. Where? On the hill trail. <laughs> Take the prisoners. My men will take them aboard the ship. Not at all.
What ails him? He's acted balmy before, but never like this. I don't know. Maybe Jim sent him. We better follow him. Go, Tanner. You got nothing to worry about but a big fat headache. Is there any sign of Suwaba or Nagala? No. Well, we better get up on a trail. <laughs> Looks like they've taken the coast trail. We'll follow them. What about the plane? It'll be safe where it is. Did you hide the spark plug? Yes. Only a couple of hours ahead of us. Where are we? A few more miles and we hit the coast just below Nairobi. Come on. There's a law against hit and run drivers. I thought you were asleep. I'm awake now. Tell your friend to go home. We've got to move on. <laughs> Any luck? I found him on a boat anchored off the coast a little way. A boat? French boat. Ah, the hand of Monsieur Leroux, it appears again. Well, what do we do now? Get them off. There's some fishing boats waiting. You go out with them. Stand by to get Nagala and Zawaba off the ship. Right. What about me? You stay here with Tamba. I'm going swimming.
come in time. Hella sick. Very bad. There's a boat waiting to take you to shore. These empty cages. Are there any animals on this ship? I have seen none. She's very sick. We've got to get her to a hospital at once. Bernard, give me a hand. Come on, Tamba. Come on. The French vessel sailed out of the harbor before we could search it. You have a fine, healthy son. Zuwawa takes son. Return to jungle. But you can't take an infant on a Dr. Trip. Crandall. Zuwawa is a chief now, and his son is his heir. Their place is with their people. Congratulations, Zuwawa. We are happy with you over your son. Dr. Crandall will return with you to take care of your baby. Oh, of course. Bernard and I will come along, too. I think I know where the diamond mine is and how Leroux is going to smuggle the diamonds out of the country. We can start for the Watanga village in the morning. So long, Jim. <laughs> Dr. Crandall and the baby can stay here while you round up your people. Soon, we will build Kambisi village. Come, I take you to Chief of Watangas. Then go bring my people together. What about you two? Oh, we're going hunting. For Zula and Nauru, Jim? Later. First, we hunt for hunters. What? Come on, I'll explain it to you later. Uneasy rest the head that wears the crown. Something troubles the young prince here. Nothing that a bottle and a fresh diaper can't fix. Someday you'll get married and find out all about it. First hand. Would you like to teach me, Bonnie? Watch out, mister. That sounds like a proposal, and I might say yes. Bernard! All right. That's a down payment for an option on the third finger left hand. Where you see it, then, the 
Barreau will try to smuggle out the diamonds with the help of the animals that are supposedly being shipped to zoos. That's the only answer for all those empty cages on Leroux's boat. Yes, well, I don't see what animals have to do with smuggling diamonds. I should think that... thousand dollars worth of diamonds in that case. Put that stuff in your pocket and let's move towards the diamond mine. Any idea where it is? I think so, in a shallow bed of the Colo River near the dam. Let's get going. Stand up! You are much like a cat, monsieur, with many lives. How nice of you both to drop in on us. The pleasure's all yours, Mr. Leroux. For now. Good. Then there are some questions you can answer, if you will. Zulu, see that our guests are taken to the encampment. Mambo! Gentlemen, we have a pleasant surprise for you. I'll see you shortly. Ngawa!
Where is Suwaba? He was out gathering his people when they kidnapped us. Oh, don't worry, Bonnie. When he finds out you're gone, he'll come after us. Not so long as the Moros are holding your son as hostage. Jim, they're planning a surprise attack on the Watunga village in the morning. But why? To keep the Cambyses from going back to their homes. Oh, I get it. That's why they burned the Cambyses village. To keep them away from what's been under their noses all the time. Right, the diamond mine. Very astute, monsieur. And now be so good, please, as to tell me where you hid them. Hid what? The spark plugs for the airplane you flew into the jungle. The good earth has been most generous. Such pretty diamonds and so many of them. <laughs> I wish to leave in the morning. Since I hold a pilot certificate, your airplane will give me safe and rapid transportation to the coast. After, of course, you have replaced the spark plug. <laughs> Why spark plugs, row? Why don't you shove in some of your precious dimes and turn the switch? Easy, Jeff. Monsieur Jim is most understanding. Dr. Crandall is a charming woman. I'm sure she will make us effective an ostrich for your good behavior, as the infant does for Zuabaz. There is a Moro escort waiting outside. You will leave now, please. We got work to do. to a Tunga village in Suwapa before we use this. Ready on this end, Jim. 
So, Baba, when the sun goes over those trees, you set off the explosion. When this blows, the diamond mine and the Morrow village will look like a rocky grave. And son of Zuwaba? Bernard and I'll get the girl and baby out in time. We better hurry. Tamba, you stay here. Atama, Ike Namahana, Ukumana, Yabata, Onakana, Omotota Mola, Omotana, Atamana Katuma, Eta Kolo Mala, Amiga de Mao, Omotana Mola, Amotana 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 War dance. They're getting ready to attack the Watunga village. Hit you for a surprise. to the other side of that mountain. Move fast. What about you? Never mind me. Quick, go. to both of us. Now I go. War dance almost over. My men will attack the Watonga village. Let them go ahead. It will help me to leave the jungle without being observed. Help me.
rebuild the Cambese village. By virtue of the authority vested in me as High Commissioner, and in the name of Her Majesty, I now proclaim for you and your heirs forever the title of Chief of Cambeseland. Greetings, Chief Zuava. <laughs> 